Hi everyone, Oops. So welcome back. Um, today I'm here with our August 20th new releases. We have two new kits and some foil this week. Um, the foil is like a forest-ish theme and then we have two fall-ish kits. Um, super simple this week. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to do the foil first, I guess. Um, so yeah, like I said, it is a forest theme this week. Love a good forest theme. I love forest specifically for fall and winter. I feel like a lot of foresty type items can be used for both seasons really easily. Um, so yeah, so like this is called Tree Elements. It has pine cones and acorns, leaves, little pine sprigs, stuff like that. I feel like acorns and leaves are very like more fall leaning but then the pine cones obviously can be used in the fall too um but like pine cones and like these pine pieces I feel like those could go really well in winter um so yeah that's how I would probably use it same thing with the pine trees I feel like you can use both seasons especially pine trees with silver it makes such pretty scenes in the winter so pine trees next we have some acorn dates we have two months of the um, like acorn cluster dates, and then we have one month of the like acorn like deco dates. Next, we have these wood slices. These probably should have made a permanent item instead of a seasonal item, but it's fine. We've been leaving our seasonal items up for quite some time now, so we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna take down Q1 seasonal foil soon. Um, but yeah. These wood slices, super great for layering. You can go on top of alcohol ink swatches, behind boxes, stuff like that. And then we have some tree branches. Just super simple, no leaves or anything on them. How pretty would it be to put like florals on the edges of the branches? I don't know. Anyway, so there's that for that foil. Next, we have the washi size sheets. So first up, we have the forest scene washi. So just lots of trees and little woodland animals throughout it. And we have this acorn leaf washi. So pretty. And then finally, we have some large trees. So these are just some larger trees, um, great for journaling or making like sidebar scenes or washi scenes. And yeah, so that's this week's foil. Super simple, but great fall and winter staple, I feel like. Let's go ahead and get started with this week's kits now. Um, first up is Knit. Um, let me zoom you out just a teeny tiny bit. So when I first saw this kit, I was like, mm, that's going to be champagne gold. I'm going to foil that in champagne gold. And then I thought about it, and I was like, I feel like this would look really pretty with silver. So um, that's what we went with. Um, so we have some sunflowers. Here we have a fireplace that has like a little full market sign and a basket of pumpkins. It's really pretty front door with some pumpkins and like foiled leaves. This little outfit flat lay. The quote says hot chocolate, country leaves, cozy knits, and pumpkins, please. Really cute basket here with a foiled drink and a pumpkin. This dog by the window, so cute. Tree swing and a little foiled wheelbarrow and then another sunflower box here so part of what made me want to do silver with this kit is like this more bluish leaning green color and then also this dark green with silver is so pretty um yeah and i feel like silver fall kits are not that common typically ironically enough the other kit this week is also silver, so um, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, even the silver looks good on like the orange. Look at that. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, we have like the dot dash pumpkin headers here, the foil florals, green lace, your watercolor shapes. Here is the bottom washi. Um, you have your foiled florals, of course. I'm about to sneeze as well. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Um, and then we have this foiled pumpkin patch like line washi. So pretty. I feel like I have to sneeze again, but I'm just gonna try not to. Um, and then we have our orange date covers. And then here is a little bit of deco. So we have like some books and pumpkins and a pie, some leaves, and stuff like that. 
Here is the foil add-on. This I'm showing you in silver. I say this every week, but in case you aren't familiar, um, showing this in silver to match the kit because it's made for the kit, but this is a really good one to pick up in gold and rose gold too, since a lot of um, fall kits are gold and rose gold. So we have that same pumpkin patch, washi and divider here, some blowing leaves, like two different styles, individual leaves, some baskets of pumpkins, and then just an assortment of different pumpkin deco. It's a really good one for fall. Um, and then moving on to the other add-ons, we have the deco add-on. We have two girls here with the most gorgeous fall outfits. That dog with the window, a sack of books, wheelbarrow, and then a little old cardigan. Almost called it a jacket. I mean, I guess a cardigan is a jacket, but still. Here is the journal add-on. I love these colors. Only I could grab it. Hello. Here is the floral deco add-on. And then we have the, have the alcohol ink swatch add-on. Um, quick question for those of you that are watching still right now before I get into this next kit. Um, last week I posted a little like mini sped up plan with me just laying down the base of November in my planner just so you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's down. Um, do you want me to do more of those like doing like a little like base... Not a completely mock spread because we release two kits a week and for me doing like a whole like intensive mock spread would take quite some time. Um, so I just don't think that that's feasible <laughs> to do for every single kit every week but maybe just like put down a little bit of deco here and there like just like a base like show you the washi all that other stuff. Um, I don't know, would you guys want to see more of that when like making a decision to purchase a kit or do you just like prefer, like are you fine with it the way that it is? I don't know, would like some feedback. Anyway, um, this kit's called Falling and it is also in silver foil but this one, I said this in my Instagram caption, this was a no-brainer to have this in silver foil for me. So, um, yeah, so silver foil, I feel like rose gold may be good have gone with it, but with how soft it is, I didn't want the rose gold to be, like, overpowering. So we have this really cute, like, road leading up to our house with some foiled birds. The quote says, falling into fall. Some more books with falling leaves. And then we have a little chair here with a pump, not pumpkin, basket of pumpkins, a foiled dog on the chair, and some more leaves. Lots of leaves and pumpkins. This really cute like table with a sewing machine. Here we have this really pretty. Mm, it's not a day bed. I think it's like a. It's completely escaping me. Not a day window bed. Mm, someone will let me know in the comments. Um, and then we have like breakfast in bed basically here with some tea. Here are the colors. Really muted and soft. So we have like this gray color. It's like bluish gray. We have this kind of like neutrally color, this like mauvey taupe color, and then this creamy color. See what I mean by it? Where I feel like rose gold would overpower this. I don't know. It's in silver though. So here we have like old writing in the headers, and of course the foiled florals. I love the like old writing, like distressed patterns in some of these shapes. Here is the bottom washi with that same old writing that matches the headers. And then we have the foiled floral as well. The date covers. And then some deco. So a lot of the same elements from the full boxes, but obviously on like a smaller scale. Here is the um, foil add-on. So here we did these um, like two-ish weeks ago, I think, the journal scraps washi. So Here's some leaf journal scrap. Y'all really like those. So um, this was designed um, before release that anyway. So was not influenced by that, but felt like it would go really well with this kit. More old writing here in case you don't already have that, but we do have an old writing sampler in the shop already if you wanted to pick that up. We have some of those falling leaves, some pumpkins, a window, some like little, like these are little trail after them, some leaf deco, and then that quote here in case you want to put it again in your spread somewhere. 
Here's the deco page, which I think is just so pretty. These colors are so beautiful. I love the like bluish tones. So, yeah, you get like a sweater, that um, sewing machine table, a chair, a jar of cookies, this little wagon with some pumpkins, a basket, a bench, and a lantern. Here is the journal add-on. I love this with all the vintage distrust throughout. So pretty. The floral deco add-on. And then last but certainly not least, the alcohol ink swatch add-on, which this, I feel like this color palette would be really good for winter too. So this would be a fun one to pick up just for your collection if you wanted to. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. But yeah, if you could give me some feedback on like that mock spread stuff that I was talking about, that would be perfect. Um, or if there's anything I can do in like my videos or whatever that would be more helpful for you guys. Um, I am open to feedback. Can't guarantee that all feedback will happen, but it will all be noted. Um, I will try my best. Um, but yeah. That is everything that I have for you guys this week. As usual, you can save 10% off of these new releases through this Sunday. Also wanted to remind you guys that the signups for August Mystery close on August 25th. I don't know when that is. I can't. So August 25th, Sunday. I feel like it might be. Yeah, so signups for the mystery close on Sunday as well. So go ahead and check out the mood board and sign up if you're interested if you have not already. Um, Shopify updated where I could put like little countdowns on there. So there's like no questions about whether or not like which month you're signed up for. So um, I put those up. So hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have a great week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.